it several years ago at the Under Armour All-American game down in Florida, and he was a banger coming oh, yeah. out of high school. Oh, yeah. He wasn't playing in practice every day. He allowed you to know who he is from day one. And, and I've got a tape. We'll show of him a little bit later uh, in the first three clips or him coming downhill and just blowing people up. And he's got a little better coverage skills than you would think on the back end at 6 feet 228. So what I think this kid is ultimately is a strong safety on first down and then a dime linebacker in your sub package. Landon Collins ran a 4-5-4 his first time. Deion Sanders out on the field. You know what's cool about this kid? He's an All-American safety, yet he's one of the best special teams players Alabama's had in the last three years. He's blocked a punt. He's covered kicks. He's covered punts. And when he comes downhill as a safety, man, he's watch coming. out. He's been that way since coming out of high school. I seen him with my own eyes. He tried to hit everything that had breath. Landon Collins. Looks like a Coke machine with a head on top, doesn't he? <laughs> Dude's put together, man. You know, that's pretty darn good for a safety for a big fella. Right. Zealous you was sent to the next level in oh, recent years. Isn't it amazing they haven't had a first round offensive lineman with all the talent they've had over the years in, in like 18 years? But since Alan Fanica, they haven't had an offensive lineman. Yet every year the running backs, D backs, corners, etc., are outstanding. But I knew coming from Division I, AA, one AA Southern University, it was all about coming and competing. It didn't matter once you got here where the guys came from uh, to uh, execute well in here and allow this to be a part of the process. I heard one of the coaches down there yelling, hey, we're not playing volleyball, guys. <laughs> it's two. It's three. Oh. <laughs> and, and he's